Hey guys, Kayak DIY here. Let's go over my homemade kayak rack tutorial. Here's the steps. I ended up digging the holes first, and then I ended up building a basic frame for this rack. Okay, so right now we're working on the kayak rack, and I'm using these light bolts. No drilling required, pretty handy and I'm using the Milwaukee M12 Impact. So I basically put the four x four that you see there, the four x four that you see there. I put this two x four right across here. And then there's actually a two x four that is, uh, you can't see it there. Two by four that is right there. So that basically creates one giant square. And so I created this giant square. So I left about 16 to 18 inches of post below that lower two by four. Um, I wanted to make sure that there was enough for the concrete to wrap around. So I dug the holes right there and there and notice that this ground has a little bit of a slope to it. So what I did is I dug the holes, I put this square like frame into the ground. At that time I did not have any of these boards. None of those boards were on yet. I just put the basic frame into the ground and then I put a level up top here. Or actually, no, I didn't put it up top here. I put it on the board down there because it was easier to reach. So, dug a hole. It's a 16 inch deep hole, at least. And I tried to leave at least a couple inches around the perimeter for concrete to be able to wrap around the posts. I got some fast acting concrete. Uh, it's fast curing, I should say, kind of. Um, and then over here, I had to have it run a little bit shallower for the time being because I wanted to be able to get it level. Because the ground slopes down a little bit, I need to be able to make it where it's level. So, notice these kayaks are sitting level, it's because I built up this side first. Then I ended up, once I got it perfectly level, I ended up taking quick crete which is a fast acting concrete. And I poured it into each hole. And it only took about 30 minutes to 45 minutes for it to set. And we'll take a look here. You'll be able to see right there, you can see concrete packed around the post. That post isn't going anywhere, not unless I dig it up. So then after I had basically the raw structure in the ground ready to go then it was time to start adding these rungs here for the kayaks to sit on on the bottom i chose to go with a little bit bigger board i went with a six inch but otherwise these are just two by fours here i used leg bolts which are like for decking they're in the the home depot area for the bolt area that's what i use i just did two per rung and uh, what I might do later on is I may end up adding some type of support brace um, I haven't decided yet I could probably just actually cut some type of wedge shape here and screw it on there and that would help prevent this from flexing like this way or this way vice versa because um, I know it's a slight little bit of a, a bend there or like with the weight of the kayaks, I notice a slight little torquing of the board, but not much. I mean, it's very minimal. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically how I went about it, is I just did, I think I did every three to four feet. Um, I, I believe it's three, three feet gaps between these boards. Uh, I did that because I ended up just measuring kind of some of the kayaks I have 
and even with the seat on I wanted to be able to make sure that if the seat was flipped up that I had enough gap in between um, between the kayaks I don't know I mean you're gonna be able to build this kind of to whatever fits your needs for your particular kayaks but this is just to kind of help you get some ideas you'll notice that the water just sits on the surface of the boards here that's because I used what's called Thompson sealer it's a deck sealer this is the color acorn brown um, but the plan for this rack here is I ended up leaving an overhang here because the thought process was that maybe just maybe I would put another one on the other side and create some type of overhang utilizing these as extra support brace so I could probably put a board coming across these and across these and tie it in somehow to that and lay on some, I don't know, some plastic roofing or whatever, or metal roofing if I wanted to, whatever's cheapest that I could find. Just something to provide extra shade. But really these banana palms and these trees here um, really provide a decent enough shade for me. And uh, I also, like I said, I've coated these kayaks in 303 aerospace protectant, which is a UV protectant. Um, yeah, looking at the structure, it seems pretty solid. Uh, I haven't seen any issues with it at the moment. Uh, as far as spacing goes, um, I believe I did six feet in between the posts. Uh, I ended up going to a kayak store and I tried measuring a few uh, of their racks to see what the average spacing was. And on average, it was about six feet. And if I look at this area here, you know, it was getting to be relatively close as well um, to the gap that I wanted to have supported. So I just kind of looked at the kayaks I had, the kayaks that I was planning on getting, and tried to determine the space here in between that would best fit the needs. Um, but it's a very simple build, wasn't that expensive at all. Um, it was quite cheap. I mean, wood lumber is, is not that expensive. So, um, yeah, actually, one of the most expensive things I found was the fasteners. The, the leg bolts were actually the, one of the more expensive things to get. Um, but one of the things that you can do or look at doing, though, is if you go this route and you have very heavy kayaks, you can maybe consider building some type of like, maybe building like a triangle shape support that can bolt right onto here and it can help keep this level so that if there's weight sitting on this um, support area, it doesn't push this board down. Um, these two leg bolts do a pretty good job, but based on the spacing between them, it could allow a little bit of torque to bend this board down some. So what I might look at doing here in the near future is just building kind of a little triangle shape support and bolting it here, here, you know, and on the other side to support these rungs as they get weight put on them. But it's a very fun project. If you guys have any questions or any comments on how I could do it better, I would happily take those suggestions um, but for now it's working for me I mean it's working very well um, we got a lot of bugs down here in Florida that Thompson sealer is doing a good job at protecting the wood and it's also protecting it from the Sun and from the rain um, which we're likely gonna get some rain here soon so Thanks for watching, and uh, I know this might have seen like, seemed like a long ramble. I was just trying to kind of brainstorm through this idea process with you, and uh, I, I look forward to getting comments from you guys on what maybe could be done better, or ideas that you have. Because, um, hey, we're one big community, and I like sharing ideas.